All right, welcome back, uh, all you lovers of mediocre at best YouTube. I can promise that at best, that is what you're about to get. Anyways, uh, we are chugging along. It's it's kind of late. I know August, early August doesn't seem like it's late in anything, but it is kind of late in the campaign season here in 1862. But I, I think there's a lot of campaigning left that we can get done. And there are certainly things on the docket to clear. I would like to... Well, I didn't see that that was happening, so I, I, I guess I already have my work cut out for me uh, dealing with this. We'll move you there. We'll move you there. I don't know that I should move Abbott. I really don't want to. And so we're going to move you. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. How is the uh, condition of this? Oh, okay. Let us no. Let us send you to port. <laughs> disaster. Okay. Well, I think we need to raise our standards for what constitutes a disaster here. But we didn't win. I get it. My goodness, those repairs are taking a while. Uh, all right. So we move that down a bit. Man, Hannibal Day did not want to. He did not want to move. Uh, okay, we're engaged there. Now, you're also supposed to be engaged there. So go ahead and get engaged. And hopefully we can win that fight. I, man, I cannot remember what I was doing over here. I feel like some of these need to kind of go back and start looking at other things to take care of. So I'll move two of them out here. What do we got? We got blockading squad and we got amphibious attack. Kind of just an easy one to do is supply colliers. Uh, it doesn't really allow you to specialize that much, but it's a good generalist. I have no idea what they're doing over here or if this is even correct. Uh, but yeah, we are doing naval things because it it is part of the game. It is really tangential and you kind of got to you gotta kind of want to do it. It doesn't really matter because the game isn't designed to make it matter, but it's still fun to do. And it was part of the actual Civil War. So if you want to role play, but play something different than the actual Civil War, rather than uh, kind of Civil War reenactor, then I think you got to do something with that. Fleet orders. Yeah, we're gonna set you to blockade. Make sure you are a blockading. Hopefully not blockading too much of our stuff, though, right? We don't want that. All right, we'll move them out there. <clears throat> the last battle was not over here in the east, but I'm looking in the east because I assume that this is where I have the most readiness. Uh, but in fact, it was all the way out in Arkansas. Oh, right about here, and that was... To me, an improbable victory. I was very surprised we, we got the W in that one. But we did, and Lion still looks like he is all right. So, all right. And, yeah, Lovell is doing nothing. And Burns is going to be a while. He's I, I've written him off in my mind until 1863. Okay, we got a victory at Fort Henry, which, you know, meh. We got that. That's Okay. Now we're going to try to move in and uh, follow up on that. Out of scouting, though, not in scouting. Where is... Oh, I guess one of my other forces got beat back here. It was not Abbott. Abbott was the one I was delaying moving over here, but I am now going to move him. And it looks like it is on Kelly to try to get his readiness house in order. And hopefully he does that. For us, uh, we could do Civ Order. It's kind of getting late in the war that I don't know another take of Civ Order is really, well, what's in order. <clears throat> I think it's probably, I'm leaning towards recruitment offices. So it was six million for the sixth take of Civ Order. Come on, what is this? 4.9 million, that also seems expensive. 
Considering I'm, I'm going to do some of the recruiting stuff, you know what? I, eh, eh, I will make no decision. Pretty typical. And you can see, this is the story of CSA. Yeah, they are trying their best to keep up with us. Also, where is Day? There is Day. And that is not something I can fight. So, yeah, if Bryce loses, we kind of just... We're stuck, man. And I don't think this group actually ever went back to port for whatever reason. It's progress, but it is slow. And I'm thinking over here that a way forward, you know, maybe what the Army of Washington should do is actually go back to Washington, create a new core, but then otherwise have these three core kind of advance up and, and tidy things up a bit. And they could get on a line, probably Stanton Mills, maybe Charlottesville, and then probably pull up to, to Petersburg and maybe even look to try to take Norfolk. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that is the general gist of things. I, I don't know what that group is doing out there okay you don't know what you're doing either so then we'll just give you supply colliers because i don't know what else to do with you and yeah we'll, we'll we'll get back to blockading we we will but let's try to deal with those groups that are up there i think we could use uh, a little bit more over here gulf blockading squadron we'll send out here an old Theodorus Bailey will uh, will just move right along. All right, so we are engaged. Right, two federal corps. All right, it looks like we're gonna win that. Hopefully. And we can plot down a fourth core here to put under. The Great Ormsby Mitchell. And, uh... We'll do the three-division structure that we've come to know and love. <clears throat> Three infantry, one artillery. Let's give that to Taylor. To Paul... And uh, Nagley. You know, maybe we do need to do recruitment offices. Now that I look at it. And we'll give him his one brigade of cav. All right. That'll be that. And then for Mansfield overall, we'll try to upgrade those weapons. But the real call here is... Where is he? Where is... No, not you. All right, we'll go select him out of here. Old Ormsby needs to come down. Darn it. There we go. All right, I don't know what McClellan's talking about with those supplies. He should be fine. We're going to move him down to Stanton Mills. As suggested, we're going to move... Patterson there. Oh. Uh, Pickett's Corps is going to come back for McDowell. Yeah, we're just going to let McDowell do uh, McDowell things. Not that I think it matters, but I'll take him out of scouting. Anyways, where are our fleets to deal with that impending problem over there? Glorious victory. So, that means... Union capture forts. Oh, this is that one. We captured 10 forts. That's pretty cool. I think it gives us, like, plus... Or... Gives us plus two, or then my... Oh, wow. I guess that... 
gave us a lot more morale than it should have. Capture forts and towns. That one might be in the vanilla game, and maybe we just never moved it back. Yeah, that could be it. Uh... Though, it would actually be nice for the CSA if they actually also were able to capture enough forts back, then they should also get that buff, and that would be... That would certainly inject some life into their, their fledgling rebellion here. Alright, and they look like they are coming for uh, the most brilliant of moves, which is... Those are a bunch of core. Alright, you guys are different. All right, maybe we move the second core here. Yeah, snake around like that. Okay, we'll try that. We'll try that. Thing about those ironclads is they are not the swiftest. Not at all. All right, that's underway. I really want to see what happens here. I was enjoying my fights on the Cold Harbor map. I'm a little surprised that McDowell, with all his combat and his wins, that we're just not doing better. I mean, the first core has but one star. He has none himself. I feel like Patterson's been engaged and has done more. McClellan has... No stars? I, yeah, I don't know. Doesn't seem right. Uh, Where is this? Core of the Army of Tennessee. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll take that. We should win that easily. Oh, okay, there we are. Yeah, why not? All right, this is what we're looking at. We get the Murfreesboro map, which is also a map I, I like. It has that mix of urban, right, around Murfreesboro. It's got some water features, but it doesn't totally ruin everything. It looks so much like Antietam. Uh, not so much with where the urban area is, but just the fact that there are kind of two significant... Hey, anyways, it reminds me of it. We're starting out... It's it's not quite corner camping. It's pretty darn close to corner camping, but there's nothing we can do about it. It's what the AI gives us. Uh, there are two possible directions that they will come in. I would see. There are different ways to do this. We're we're gonna put these. Oh, this is uh this is that weird core that actually has here. Let's just. Let's just put everybody in single line. Uh, this is the weird core that has two cav brigades. Uh, we're going to send them. I'm going to send them forward. And uh, I'm going to bring you all back when there's something to show you. So, yeah, we are. Yeah, we are in day two here. And uh, we checked first to see if they were to our, our north. And this was clear. Then we got the overnight. So I assumed our process of elimination they were coming down this road. Uh, and, uh, sure enough, here they are. So, yeah, that was, that was poor timing on my part because I sent them stop orders and then I decided to just give them new movement orders to come back on Wayne's Hill and a whole bunch of other things that don't really matter. Uh, but <clears throat> this, we should have a very strong defensive position, uh, because the, the main crossings are here unless they kind of uh, Jesus walk over. And then the triple crossings here, which you can sometimes finagle cover here. You can certainly get higher ground here. Uh, and then you can kind of corral them over here. If they're able to get across and then get into the rail line, it, it can be harder to dislodge them. But for right now, I'm just trying to get everybody on the same side. We hold the five-pointer, and so... Time is apparently on our side. Yeah, we're going to move you there. We're going to move you there. Uh, I would actually be a little bit more concerned with the southern push. So, yeah, I don't I don't think that we over overextended to come up. I think Reynolds Division plus Ullman's two cav brigades, it should be more than enough to hold this because, again, it's, it's high ground covering a relatively 
open advance that is lower and has to come through bottlenecks. So it's a strong defensive position. We can move things up to 5x speed here while we wait for everyone else to try to get where they ought to be. That artillery should be there, and we're going to detach it. And uh, where is this one here? So Buell is here. We're going to detach his battery. Good, good. And again, we just... If they want to try to cross, let them try to come across. Uh, let them actually get... Let some of them get across, and then... Uh, then engage. Yeah, that's a fine position for them. Uh, Kelly no longer needs to be as the uh, overall commander doesn't need to be this close. Ullman can be over here. We'll tidy up our command positions to try to reduce order delays. Uh, but yeah, not only do we have the numerical advantage, we, we actually started this one down. Oh, we're still down. And it's for morale reasons. Uh, none of my units that I know have started broken, so it wasn't that. It was just that their fighting spirit seems largely capped out at somewhere between the mid-50s to the mid-60s. And so that's, oh, obviously, that's really low. Uh, so, yeah, we're, we're dealing with that, but we are holding the objective, and we do have a, a significant... Numerical advantage. More significant than the deficit we faced in the last battle back in Arkansas, which was a desperate, but actually turned out to be pretty pretty comfortable. Yeah, losing 600 men there, I assume that that is just a morale thing. I don't know what that's about otherwise. And I just have no idea what that is at all. Okay. Soon enough. Um, all right, we'll we'll throw skirmishers forward. Okay, so we're gonna do that. I don't remember. I know that they have no cavalry. I don't know if they have artillery. I don't see anything. Yeah, and I don't know why they feel like they need to go over there. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Pretty cool, I think. It is neat that you can hear. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta mute this for you. All right. Now the gunshot. Well, just in time for the gunshots to start, I guess. We're going to send up some infantry.
That is such a sick position for that blob. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, the casualties they took were not terrible to get to that point. I, I don't really know where they go from here, but. I think those bombardments are, <laughs> they just happen to park their artillery where we're already bombarding. Yeah, so it's just that bombardment that's absolutely destroying that artillery. I forgot if I had perks on any of these. I think that's the bombardment one, that's the bombardment one. Alright, so I'm not going to switch to counterbat in that case.
Yeah, I mean, if they want to stand off and shoot, that's perfectly fine. It's a fight we should win. And we're starting to pull things back in our favor. Alright, so Grigsby, so both of their batteries are going to be done. Yeah, this is a turkey shoot, man. This is a tough crossing to force, it, it, even with four possible crossings in, in a small area, it's really hard to do. If the other side has, even if they were on their side and we had to move over it, if they just sit in that rail line, uh, they can shoot you as you come down and then as you come up, and then over here they could just sit in the trees and shoot you as you have to kind of cross through the open, so it's it, it gets rough. Don't aim, just shoot and move. You heard it here. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, I think they're gonna probably route. They gotta eat a lot of a lot of lead before they get back there. Yeah, you see they took almost 150 casualties here in a short amount of time. is trying to do their best delaying action.
Alright, I'm not worried about their movements at this point. Yeah. Wow, we, you know, 1,200 casualties for that? Feels like quite a bit. Alright, we... We've done what we came to do. Defended Nashville. I guess that's what we came to do. And uh, yeah, over here... Eh, day is a little iffy. Not sure why Kelly is reported as out of supply. He's got a supply depot right there. Uh, we need to move Abbott. He's going to be out of supply. I should probably get moved over there. Uh, what is this? Naval bombardment. I don't know what was doing the bombardment, but uh, it was it was something evidently. All right, we are piling up over here, and it looks like they're on their way in. I guess I got to make a decision about whether I, I think that this is going to be a we're going to finish this this episode battle or whether we cut this episode short and uh, do this another time. Potomac Flotilla is over here. Oh, just core. Holy crap. The old invasion of Delaware trick. Yeah. Well, it's a nice idea. Is that the right way to say that? I don't know. Uh, we'll move McClellan up here. Just to deal, deal with this silliness. Um... Yeah, Patterson and McDowell should be able to deal with that. Mitchell can move up here. I really don't need Mitchell. What is this? This is this again? What are we engaged with? Two federal fleets and... Oh. Well, they have something. Uh, yeah, they, they, they certainly have something. All right, we'll put Bryce in scouting. We need that readiness back. Kelly's there. He should be getting supplied. Hannibal Day needs to move to the uh, kind of best midpoint between all three of those. Disaster at Tennessee. Wow. The Mississippi River Squadron retreating. That's us. I think, actually I don't know what they're named, but I, I'm pretty sure that is. That? Wow, we disintegrated for that. Both of those fleets disintegrated. Holy moly. Well, the thing about being the Union is, if at first you get disintegrated, you can always create a new fleet. And so we'll do ours at uh, that's right. Then this weird Missouri, St. Louis Harbor. Sure. And it doesn't really matter to me. We'll just throw all sorts of stuff in there. See what sticks. Probably signals though that we're gonna need more ironclads. Okay, it's gunboat. I mean, Paulding could have 47. Think about that. Uh, no to the rest of you. Ship's tender gunboat, sure. All right, we'll give you that for now and uh, let them see how they do. 
Now is Hill's Core okay? Hill's Core is not coming in. Just staying right where they are. Good, good. How are you all? You all are actually ready to just about ready to go into scouting. That's fine. Oh, so they have somebody in Dover in it. Onancock. Onankic? Who knows? Alright, I don't know what you guys are up to, but if there's a core in there, let's let's try to find it and destroy it. You know what? While we're here, are we are we beat up? Not really. Let's go after the James River Squadron. We need a little bit of retribution for what's going on in Delaware. Parts of Maryland. Alright, that is happening. Colin just really thinks he's out of supply. Well, you know. Just core has forty two thousand. Let me send Let me send Patterson. What is this? So this is a we are outnumbered thirty five thousand to twenty thousand for a day. And then after that day we get reinforced and we get an absurd amount of troops. Alright. I'm okay with that. Where is this taking place? Uh, so it's taking place over here. So that that all is okay. Uh, looking at the clock and looking at how this battle is likely going to unfold. I'm not going to do it in this one. Because it's going to make this go at least another hour. And we're almost 40 minutes in. So I'm going to wrap it here. But now you all know what is coming up on the docket for the next episode. So I hope to have you back for this one. Which should be a good one.